Hey quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us on a beautiful sunny day here in Omaha, Nebraska. Emily's in the house, how are you my friend? I am fabulous. Okay, Emily has a new addition to her family. I do, and I'm- You wanna talk about it? Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, so if you were here last week, you might remember that I had gone to a thrift store and seen a Singer sewing machine. Yes. Well, I gave it a week and I decided, okay, I'm gonna go back and rescue her. So Reba is officially Reba. part of the family. She Reba. was $11. She's a singer. She's a singer, exactly. She was $11.99. Excellent. So, I'm so excited. <laughs> Emily's gonna go take it today to um, Celtic Quilters here in Omaha. They carry our product. She's gonna take it over to see Judy and her team. They're gonna clean it all up for you. I'm so excited. Congratulations, that's exciting. All right, where is everyone watching from today? Okay, um, Marilyn says, hi from sunny, warm Los Angeles. 75 yesterday in Omaha, Nebraska. It was a beautiful sunny day. And Deborah Z wants to know, how do I know what mat to buy? The answer is, the size of the die. So you're gonna get a six by 12 die, you're gonna get a six by 12 mat. 10 by 10 die, 10 by 10 mat. Okay, we'll talk about it. Great question. All right, here are some new projects on our countdown video. First up is Diane M. Okay, Emily, did you see these super cute coasters? I love the colors. Yeah, they're beautiful. So they're beautiful. Pretty. And I love them because we have a die for that. We just, she just used the big hexagons today. Absolutely. That's great. Next, we have this stupendous quilt by Susie Cunningham. We found it on Instagram. And it's just all sorts of pieced, and and I love the applique. It looks like it has resin plate there in the middle. I think you're right. That's Gosh, gorgeous. It's just beautiful. I love all the colors. The quilting is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And finally, let's see what Terry L has put together. Okay, Emily, what block is that? Ooh, that's the Ohio Star. It is. I love this colors of this. Me too. And it's she has a pretty backyard. She has a good quilting backyard <laughs> to hang her quilts. <laughs> All right, today is all about spring, and we're gonna use the Go Tangled Star Die and the four inch cube to make a fun table runner just in time for a change of the seasons. So here is my photo of the day, because it is spring. Um, these are daffodils. I grew up in Seattle where there are just so many daffodils. Um, so they are my all time favorite flower. Um, Emily, what's your favorite flower? I'd say either daffodils or tulips. Oh, there you go. I love daffodils. There so you go. They're happy flowers. Yep, there you go. And um, here in the Dream Studio, we had some nonsensical flowers and orchids, all sorts of good things today. All right, did you see yesterday we launched a new dye to try? It is the Go Grandmother's Fan. Here is a block from the Go Fa uh, Grandmother's Fan. It is a modern take on a traditional block. Only available at AccuQuilt.com. You can order yours today. Emily, how much are they? The uh, grandmother's fan. So you can actually get the, the die and the mat for $119.99 today. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, so uh, yesterday was a great show. If you have any questions about the grandmother's fan, you can go to our AccuQuilt website. Look under the die. There's a video to show you how to put the block together how to assemble the product, it's, or the block, it's just fabulous. Okay, it's Wednesday, we have a special code for you today. You can take 35% off your order when you spend $35 or more. The code you want to use is save my 35 S-A-V-E-M-Y-3-5. This month at AccuQuilt, we're celebrating March Machine Madness. Right here, look, March Machine Madness. With a special <laughs> promo, Quilt 2022 to get $150 off the Ready, Set, Go Ultimate Fabric Cutting System, which is what you see here. So it comes with the Go Fabric Cutter, the eight inch cube, the scrape, uh, two and a half inch strip die, which is what we use all the time, all the mats you need, a great book by Eleanor Burns, and a die pick. $150 off, use that code. Today I'm gonna give away one of our Go Tangled Star dies. Be sure and register for future events on our AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. By registering, you're gonna receive event emails. That way you'll never miss um, an exciting tutorial. And Emily's gonna announce the winner of our registered viewer at the end of the show. All right. Okay, so we're gonna make this super fun. I'm gonna hold it up real quick. Uh, table runner called Go Tangled Web. 
by the amazingly talented Gina Jempasa of Gem Hill Quilts. Uh, be sure to download this free pattern at AccuQuilt.com. So I liked this uh, pattern because, first of all, it's just all sorts of scrappy, right? Mm -hmm. And you can use all different colors. It looked like Mardi Gras, which was yesterday, so really fun for spring. It also has a border that has these three little blocks in it that we're going to show you how to put one of those together here today. So all sorts of really fun things about this table runner. And you only need three of our 10 inch finished blocks to make it. So, ta-da. All right, so I have this, <laughs> this bob already done. Oh, here is the finished block. So this is the finished block. You can make it in four colors. You can make it in five colors. You could make it totally scrappy which is one of the things that I love about this. Um, Emily, we talked about this last week. For your block, you wanna press your seams open. Yes. And the reason you wanna press your seams open is in the front where these um, pieces intersect, mm -hmm. they're gonna to come together beautifully if you press your seams open, okay? okay? So a great block. All right, so let's look at this die. I have all sorts of funness up here, okay. So this is our Tangled Star die. It's on a six by 24 die board, so it's gonna fit through all of our cutters, including our Go Me. Um, you could use it in your studio cutter with the appropriate adapter. It's a bob or a block on board die, which means all the shapes to need, you need to make that one block are on this die board. It's an AccuQuilt innovation and a super slick way to finish projects fast. The shapes are screen printed for easy pieces and placement, and they're also, in this case, divided by color. All of the shapes have that specialized dog ears right here and that quarter inch seam allowance built in. This is what I call a directional die, so all of the fabric needs to face up, okay? So before we get started, um, just a reminder to join uh, Joy and Erica and me on Tuesday, March 8th at 12 noon central time for a celebration of National Quilting Month. We have some amazing mentors who are going to be joining us for the show. You want to register in the link below for the chance to win prizes. Okay, so here is the scrappy block that I am st have started to make with all these different scrappy colors. Okay, so what I did quilters was, I, you know, we talk about this a lot. So these were just some scraps that I had at home and I thought, okay, these are really great because um, I liked the spring colors of it. I liked how it looked and I wanted to make my block scrappy, okay? So what I did was, um, I have this high tech way of keeping track of all of my pieces. They are called sticky notes. Okay, so when I went through the pattern, A and E are white, okay? C and H are this light purple, and D is the dark purple. E, R, which stands for E right, compared to E, which is the left side, I guess. And then um, this A, R, and the F over here are pink, and the G and the B are green. So I really wanted to show you how I laid my pieces out because you could, um, you could cut all your pieces um, for your block in one pass through the die board. But I really wanted to show you that these were actual like real scraps of fabric that I had. And I thought this is perfect because then I can lay them out and cut them, okay? All right, so Emily, while, we, um, while I cut this, tell us what are people's favorite um, flowers. Absolutely. I think this is one of my favorite questions we've done, Pam. This is so okay. much fun. So um, actually, Annette was um, asking, Pam, do you remember the Daffodil Parade in Tacoma, Washington? Okay. When I was in high school, I was on drill team, and we marched in the Daffodil Parade in Tacoma, Washington. How fun is that? 100 years ago. It was so fun. Yes, I, I do. That. Tammy says carnations. Mm. Um, Let's see, Deanna says, daffodils are my birth flower for March. And okay. Oh, is that the March birth flower? That's I didn't so know cool. that. I didn't know that. Okay. Learn something new every day. Oh, and we have a question, actually. Okay, okay, so when we were talking about seams just now, yes. Robin is wondering, how do you know when you press them open versus the dark side? You bet. So that is such a great question. And my answer to that is, 
if in your block you have multiple intersections of pieces, you really wanna press your seams open. See, look, right here, I pressed all of my seams open. If I press to the dark side, there's gonna be tons of bulk, mm -hmm. and when I go to sew my block together, it's not gonna lay flat. So um, if I'm doing a simple block like flying geese or a four patch or even a nine patch, I am typically going to press to the dark side. Okay, but with this one, and if you read the pattern instructions, it will tell you if you go to the AccuQuote website and look, okay? So um, I ran it through my go big today because I can. I'm gonna give it some love, slide, don't lift. All right. Now here, here's my other little pro tip for you. Leave the pieces on the die board because um, the, when I tested this die, I took my pieces off thinking, oh, I will remember where they go, and I did not, okay? So just leave your pieces on the die board because how they go together, they go together in a really specific order mm -hmm. is important, okay? So I'm gonna move this over here. I'm gonna move my high-tech ways of doing that. Okay, so first we're gonna start um, and we're gonna sew E and F together. So here is my little test block. Here is E and F. I can move that down, Justin, if I need to. Okay, so I wanna make sure I get E and not ER, right? E and F. Oh, I have green underneath there. And someone had a comment too that, that the R might be stand for reverse. It could. Possibly. You can make it be whatever you want it to be, <laughs> okay? Okay, so my F shape, this is how I'm gonna know that I'm doing it right. I'm gonna put my right sides together and see down here where this meets, this notch is cut off. If I try to do it this way, it's not gonna work right, okay? So I'm gonna sew it like this, okay? All right, so we're just gonna keep going. And while I'm sewing today, cause there's quite a bit of sewing, Emily is gonna tell us um, about people's favorite flowers. I'm excited for this today. No, this is so much fun. Brenda says lavender are her favorite Oh, flowers. lavender, that's like the dual purpose flower. It smells good and it looks beautiful. Absolutely. Um, okay. Ooh, we have violets. Oh, there you go. Um, carnations and tulips says Pam Z. Tulips are beautiful. Tulips are so beautiful. Morgan was saying that there's a there's tulip time in Holland, Michigan, I guess. Oh, there you go. There's like tulips all over the place, which sounds like a whole bunch of fun, and it sounds like we're gonna have to go for a visit. Yes. <laughs> now, when I was making my block, I did, I sewed all the E's and F's together. Mm. Okay, so it's a great chain piece in block. Today, we're just gonna go through them, okay? Love it. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press my seam open. Um, you wanna make sure you have a good quarter inch seam. It's not a scant quarter inch seam, it's a true quarter inch seam. Mm -hmm. And thank goodness for that tiny little pressing iron. I'm, I just yes. love that. <laughs> Use it all the time. Okay, and then next we're gonna sew B and A together, which I think are these. Look at that, B and A. Now, <laughs> look at this. Okay, this is how the block goes together or the unit goes together and you're gonna know it's right because you're gonna stitch right along here in that quarter inch seam. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead, Emily. All right, yes, Diane says, um, I love pansies because they're always smiling at you. Aw. Pansies are my mom's favorite flower. There you go. They're such happy little guys. I love how all the colors that they come. Pansies are great because it doesn't matter. You can just throw them anywhere in the garden and they just grow. Exactly. They're just happy to be there. They really are. <laughs> Okay. Let's see, Star, oh, Star says she loves this table runner in colors. I have to say, the Tangled Star, I feel like it's a party in a block. I think that as well. This is um, top five of my favorite Absolutely. of all kinds. Just so much movement and fun and the colorways, it's just yep. obsessed. All right, so now I'm gonna keep going. And again, if I were sewing all my blocks together, I would just chain piece. And I'm gonna sew this to shape this unit, this AB unit, here to D, and look, it's gonna line up perfectly because I used a good quarter inch seam, okay? It makes all the difference in the world. 
We talk about that a lot. You know, make sure you can find your good quarter inch seam. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead, Emily. Ooh. We have Kathy who says daily lilies are her favorite because they come in so many colors. Yeah, lilies do. They really do. And they yep. smell so good. Yeah. Ooh, Tony says their favorite is lilacs. Oh, lilacs are beautiful. Ugh, talk about beautiful smelling flowers. See, it really is getting me into spring. The fact that yesterday I could wear flip flops um, on, in March. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what I did here because I'm gonna re-sew it. See, look right here, I got right here to the end. And I, I should have come on this side and look how much I'm off there. So if I were trying to put my block together, it wouldn't go together. So when you're doing this, mm -hmm. that's kind of my little pro tip is to, oh look, see, and I sewed, did you all catch that? Guys, did you catch that? That I sewed another piece to the bottom? Aha. Uh -huh. Look at this. <laughs> he just wanted to join the party. He did, now I probably have sewn it all around. No, there, there we go. <laughs> no, it was just a little scrap piece. Okay, so now I have A and B and I'm sewing it to D and I'm gonna come back and make sure I do that good quarter inch seam, okay? Don't be afraid to stop and fix it. I think that that's one of the things, Emily, we were kind of talking about last week mm -hmm. was, you know, take your time, stop and fix it. Absolutely. Because otherwise when you get done, if, if one section is not sewn right, then the whole block is gonna be off. Yeah. And then you're going to be cranky about that. You know? I know. it. I've become very good friends with my seam ripper. Well, <laughs> yeah. And I have found, too, that I often see posts of quilters that say, oh, you know, look, here's my finished top. The whole thing is done. And oops, I made a mistake here. Mm -hmm. And and that, I mean, it's not a race. Just take your time. Find your, find your pieces. Oh, see, look. So much better. Okay? So now then I'm gonna sew this. So this is how my block lays out. So I'm gonna sew it together here, okay? All right. All right, Emily, while I'm sewing, talk to me. Sure. Dorothy says hibiscus is my favorite flower. I love Oh, really? Hibiscus. Do you like hibiscus tea? I, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a tea gal. Oh my gosh. You hibiscus. like hibiscus tea? Oh, it's one of my absolute favorites in the world. It's nice and sweet, a little tart. And it's like, it dyes everything bright pink though. You have to be really careful with oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's, We're going to have to have the question one day be, what's your drink of, well, your, your, your day drink of choice. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, like, you know, do you like coffee or tea or soda? Absolutely. That's funny. No, I am not a tea person. Erica, the lovely Erica is a tea person, but I am not. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm a coffee gal all the way for sure. But tea, you know, in the afternoon at five o'clock, that's, that's kind of a ritual. At five o'clock after work, you got to have a biscuit and some tea. That's what you do in the UK. <laughs> you have biscuits. They call cookies biscuits. All right, quilters. So quilters ask all the time, why is the AccuQuilt fabric cutter better than rotary cutting? The only way you truly, truly could cut this block would be with a paper template. And eventually your block would be wonky because that template is going to start degrading after time. But with AccuQuilt, your shapes are cut perfect every time. You're going to get thousands of cuts out of your dies, hundreds of cuts out of your mats. So don't forget our promo today, save my 35, 35% your, off your order when you spend $35 or more. Emily, what should they be looking at for the my 35? Well, we were just looking at that four inch cube. Which yes, we're is, gonna use it here in a few minutes. Yes, and that's actually gonna be on sale for 162.50 with that 35% off. Excellent, so this is a great day to look at those cubes and companion sets. And don't forget, you can get $150 off our Ready, Set, Go. Use that code QUILT2022 because it is March machine madness. There is. So many fun things happening in March. Okay. All right, don't forget, I'm, today I'm going to give away one of our Go Tangled Stars dies. Be sure to register for future events on our website for the chance to win. You'll also get great emails about upcoming events, and Emily's going to announce the winner of today's um, registered viewer at the end of our show. Okay, so now we're gonna sew 
um, C and A are together. I, I always get a little nervous when I'm looking here trying to find my pieces. Okay, so C and A are is very similar to this other piece we sewed right here. Mm -hmm. All right, so again, so now I'm gonna take my block. And I'm gonna tell you quilters, boy, I did make a test block, okay? So again, we're gonna sew, make sure we get that perfect quarter inch seam, mm -hmm. okay? All right, so Emily, any other dies that we can think of with my save 35? I was just gonna say, we do have, um, ooh, because everybody needs a two and a half inch strip we die, We do, right? yep. So um, that is usually $99.99. It comes down to $64.99, excuse me, Excellent. with that promo. I mean, it's a great time to get, um, to stock up on, yeah, strip dies. Um, didn't, are, are you guys gonna be doing something with the 12 inch cube here? We are at up? the end of the month. That's exciting. Well, yeah. if, if you're, you know, looking forward to that program and you don't have the 12 inch cube, that guy's gonna be 201.49 today. There you go. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna sew um, E, R, and H together. Okay, and boy, make sure you're doing it right. There we go. So again, I have the smaller size on the, so that I can see where I'm sewing that mm -hmm. quarter inch seam. Ooh, speak. I made this whole thing, um, all my other little step outs in less than like 30 minutes. Wow. Well, cause you can cut it so fast, right? I mean, that's the thing about AccuQuilt is it lets you cut so fast. You can spend your time doing the sewing and the quilting and the fun part. To me, cutting is the hard part. Exactly. Yep. That's so true. And actually, speaking of quarter inch seam allowances, Pam, yes. Barb is wondering, how do you find if your machine is a true quarter inch? So we have a quarter inch foot. And I have one on my machine at home. Mm -hmm. And so, um, Justin, can you? Oh, here, look. Watch what I can do. Ooh. Everybody's all nervous about that. <laughs> we hope it comes back. Okay. So here is my quarter inch foot. Can we get a shot of it? Okay. And so here's where the needle comes, right? And so I wanna have my edge of my fabric when I'm sewing a seam right here next to this, and that's a quarter inch, hmm. okay? So um, it depends, you can order one for all of your machines. I'm sure all machines have them. Is a scant quarter inch, is it larger or smaller than a quarter inch seam? Uh, smaller. Smaller, okay. And some people think that we, there, and the, look, it just goes back. Wow. Thank you. Ah. Um, they think it just, um, it, you need to use the scant quarter inch seam, and the answer is no, really, just use a true quarter inch seam. Love that. Okay, all right, and then we're gonna add shape. Right, we've sewn all our shapes. Okay, mm -hmm. so now we're gonna add this shape G. Okay, so look at how cool this is. I love it. All these answers, Pam, just make me want to go to a garden and walk around. <laughs> oh, yes, please continue to read. Anita says that hydrangea and roses are. Oh, so hydrangeas, back when I grew up in Seattle, they were just huge everywhere. Here in Nebraska, what do we have that grows? Like sunflowers. Yes, that's very and true. And brown-eyed Susans. Yes. Right, grow here. Absolutely. What else grows here? I'm trying to think. Um, I know um, mom has a lilac, a lilac bush, and dad tried to grow blueberries one year, which oh. didn't go very well. <laughs> no, the blueberries aren't happy in Nebraska. No, but it, uh, I don't know. It's too, I think it's too humid to grow blueberries. Oh, what are they called? Lily of the Valley. Oh, those are pretty. Those do pretty well here. I'm trying to think of what else is there. Cone flowers. Cone flowers are beautiful. Linda right, what says, else? Linda says purple cone flowers are her favorite. Yeah, purple cone flowers grow wild here in the state of Nebraska. Love those. Okay, so look how fast I'm sewing this whole block together, and then we'll sew the whole block together. These are called units of the block. I almost dropped that. And the Tangled Star, that guy's on a six by 24 die board, right? So that, yes. that'll fit in any of our cutters. Yep, including that go me. Love that. Just make sure you have a six by 24 die mat, or yes. cutting mat. Oh, so hey, let's talk about that while we're sewing stuff together here. Sure. Somebody ask about that. So this is a six by 24 die. So I, if I wanted to cut all the pieces, I would get a six by 24 mat. 
But if I just wanted to cut some of the pieces, mm -hmm. I could use a smaller mat. Oh, perfect. Right? So I can always use this. So it's only going to cut where there's fabric and a mat. Mm -hmm. So the question about how do I know what size uh, mat I need, you need that for all of the sizes of dies you have, and then um, some extra six by sixes. We have tons of videos on how to cut pieces using our dies, but that's a really great question. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going because I'm just I'm just pressing. Yeah, well, and just to add on to what you were just saying, I get the question sometimes of you know, can I use a larger mat with? Oh yeah, and what's dye? the answer to that, Emily? And I usually say no because it's going to shimmy as it goes through the cutter, and you're not going to be happy. Yeah, it's going to move the fabric, and you're going to be cranky about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So now, look at this. I love it when it all works together. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so now, oh, see here, I'm going to show you this again. Because look, when I was sewing this, right here, that is not a true quarter inch seam. So I'm going to just pull out this little piece right here. Yeah. And just re-stitch this last little end. Because here's why, right? You just want it to be perfect. And the, the seams are going to line together if it is. So I'm gonna come right here. Hey, it's March 1st. If you haven't had your sewing machine service recently, get it in. Absolutely. I had mine service last weekend. It is so much happier. That's awesome. There we go. Ooh, Brenda's wondering, Pam. Tell, uh, yes, Brenda. How do you make sure that the fabric is on straight of grain when laying it out on this block? Yep, so that's a great question. We're gonna show you. Um, even with my scraps, I want to make sure I have lengthwise grain. Mm -hmm. So here's my, here's C and H. Okay, look, nice and tight. This is the lengthwise grain. Look at this, stretch, low and wonky. Mm -hmm. So when I'm cutting my scraps, I'm going to just lay it right here on this, and this is the lengthwise grain. And then I can just take my scissors and trim it down. Okay, I love this die because it's built for scraps. Mm -hmm. So when you're doing your whites, um, we're gonna cut some pieces using our four inch cube. We'll show you how to do that as well, okay? But that's a great question. All right, so lengthwise grain as it goes through the rollers, okay? And then you're gonna get a nice clean cut. All right, so now that all my seams are sewn perfectly, I'm gonna sew these two halves together and then we're gonna sew four blocks together because boy howdy, why we're here, we should totally do that. Absolutely. All right, hey, don't forget, all of our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube pages. So if you need to come back and watch this one and say, now, how did Pam cut that? You can, mm -hmm. um, which is really a great um, advantage, right? Because then you know what to do, but all of them do. And y'all answer some great questions. Yesterday when, when you launched, you know, the grandmother's fan, there were so many great questions about the difference between that and the Dresden plate. Right. And you went over all of the details. And right. I just love that. It's a great resource. Right. Okay, now look. I just, this is the part that makes me so happy. Look how these seams lined up. Absolutely perfect because I took the time. Remember, I had to go back and fix that one little seam right there so that it's all a quarter inch seam. And somebody asked a couple of weeks ago, what's the difference between pressing and ironing? Yes. Um, so that's a really good question. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking my little shovel iron and I'm just pressing the seam open, okay? I'm just giving a little press. What I don't wanna do is take my big iron that I have at home, though I have a little shovel iron at home. What did I do there? Okay, there we go. Okay, what I don't want to do is take my big iron and just pull that fabric because it's going to stretch it. And right now, it's perfect. Okay, so I don't want to, I don't want to be doing that. All right, so now here, let's lay out our blocks so we sew them the right direction. Okay. Emily is learning so much. I'm so excited for your new sewing machine. That's exciting. Me too. I know. I feel like I'm learning so much just with every single project that we do and watching you every week. It's just, it's so nice. There's some things that I go, Emily, I wish I had known that before. <laughs> before right. I, de I definitely made the mistake of ironing rather than pressing. 
Right, but that's okay because I feel like that's kind of, you know, something you got, somebody's got to tell you. Exactly, exactly. Emily needs to say, okay, Emily, this is what we're doing here. Okay, so now I'm just going to do my nice good quarter inch seam. These seams are all going to line up right here. I just love it. That's awesome. A couple of years ago, um, I went to Minnesota and I had a, a quilting class with this... Um, amazing quilter and the one thing she said to me was I love the fact that all of your pieces are straight and I said that is because there is a die for that. 100%. Um, Karen McTavish she's this amazing quilter and um, she noticed like the difference between having um, you know if you're cutting them with a rotary cutter as compared to cutting them with a um, die. Okay, so look right here. See, all my seams came together. So now I'm going to press this open. And actually, I am going to press this open because there's just so much fabric. There's so much bulk. Okay, be careful so you don't burn your little fingers. Okay, <laughs> Emily, while I'm ironing this, do you want to tell people about our blog? Absolutely. Yeah, we have a really, really great blog where um, you can go engage with our go-getters who are folks that love using our products and come up with fabulous new patterns, which oh, can only amazing. be found there. Amazing so stuff. It's a really great place to go check for, for new exciting projects. And they just give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do them. So it's a great, it, I just love our blog so much. So yes, go check that out. And I think uh, this week's blog is all about the new grandmother's fan die. It surely is. And there's some really great um, projects. Yesterday we showed on our show, um, just so innovative, like these darling pillows that look like sunbursts. I was gonna say, I think I mean, that's just, my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, and pencils, Larkspur quilts, Amanda Harward. And then Gina Jempasaw did another one for our uh, show yesterday as well. Wow. So just amazing. Yeah, the creativity is just unbelievable. Okay. okay, so look how this is coming together. And then look right here is that quarter inch seam. Everything is coming up roses. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, Emily, while I iron this, tell us, do we have, first of all, any more questions? Yeah. Let's... And then if not, tell us what people are loving. Absolutely. Hey, and a huge shout out to, um, Lauren and Morgan, who are moderating our comments today. Yeah, Looking I've got there. an interesting question from Noreen. Do you select a needle based on fabric or thread? I select a needle on whatever Erica tells me. I think that's a good answer. Um, no, I just get standard needles for my sewing machine. Is that what you're talking about? Or yes. for your hand sewing? Yeah. yeah I just sewing. use 80, 12 universal needles. Because I, 99.9% .9 of the time, am sewing cotton. Okay? Yes. I'm not sewing denim. But you would adjust your needle depending on the fabric you're sewing, Got not it. the um, thread. All these great questions. Yeah. Ooh, someone and said... Oh, somebody's sorry. Somebody's going to ask me what my stitch length is, and I don't know. Oh, I did. Yeah. I learned it last week. I was going to say, think. didn't we say it was like somewhere like two point something? Yeah, last something. Week? <laughs> We learned it. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, we haven't talked about this one yet, Pam. Okay. Barbara says my crocuses have popped up. Love them because spring is on the way, and they're a strong little flower. I've seen them come up, then get snowed on, and still survive. Oh, locusts. Yeah, those are beautiful. They're so sweet little flowers. Oh my gosh. And then Ope got Tina also loves carnations. See, uh, I love it. It's exciting. All right. So I'm going to take my block. And I'm going to press it out with my um, good iron. And these seams are going to come right here together perfectly. And it's going to be beautiful. So think about this die with scraps. OK? Obviously, you can make it any way you want to make it. But think about it with scraps. OK? Now, this project has the cutest border. And we're going to just open up our four inch cube. And I'm going to pull out the dies that we need to make it. Um, so let me. Let me walk you through it here. We can just do um, overhead. Here we go. So this is square and a square. Mm -hmm. So Emily, what dies do we need for this? The um, half square, or am I get? Let's see. Can I see the the pig? 
what it looks like again. So we need a half square triangle, is that right? Uh, yep, we're gonna do square and square and then that little square and point. Mm -hmm. And then this is actually a half square triangle and um, quarter square triangles. Yes. Okay, and then this one is just quarter square triangles. It did not burn me. So I'm gonna pull out those dies and then I'm gonna show you, we're just gonna cut some, we're gonna use our scraps just like we have been. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it. All right, Emily, while I pull these out, tell us. Yeah, we've got a couple of fun questions too. Um, okay. Barbara's wondering how often you clean your dyes. Um, I clean my dyes every four or five times I use them mm -hmm. because what's gonna happen is, um, look at me trying to talk and do two things at one time here. <laughs> one, two, three, there we go. Um, what happens is threads build up in the corners, right? And then you you can't, so every three or four times I use them for a project, okay? okay? That's kind of what I'm doing. Yeah. But that's a great question. And it may maybe depend like on the fabric that you're using uh -huh. too, maybe? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do a little math because I'm gonna show you how to cut these. So for the square, we need just one of the color for shape number six, and then we need four shape number fives, okay? So I'm gonna do that. So here is my shape number six, so we'll use purple. Again, look, I'm finding that lengthwise green, okay? Okay, and then I need some shape number fives. So I'm just gonna cut these, and I need four of them, there we go. Nice and tight, okay? And again, I love this pattern because of all of the scraps. So I'm just using all my little scrappy stuff. Gonna find me a six by mat, six by six cutting mat, I just had one, here it is. Okay, and today I'm using my go big. So I'm gonna run two through at one time. Um, but again, our four, six, and eight, and nine inch cubes are all on um, six by six die boards. I'm gonna cut this again. This is what happens when you're not paying attention. Um, are in six by six die boards, so you can run two dies through in one pass. Okay. Well, and, when, and you know, if you don't have your go big yet, we do have that really great bundle. We do, with that Ready, Set, Go. Yep, we've got right? the Ready, Set, Go. Um, with That's $150 off with that code QUILT2022. Or we even have that bundle with the Grandmother's Fan. Okay. Where you'll get that Grandmother's Fan die for free with the 10 by 24. And it's it's literally the cost of the cutter. Oh, sure. $99.99. And you're sure. getting the Grandmother's Fan and the mat along with it. So it's, it's kind of a no-brainer if you're looking to upgrade. There you go. Okay, I have these one little strings. Don't pull your strings. Um, remember, a dice can cut up to six layers of cotton in one pass. So that's a great idea, is if you're looking to upgrade, get the grandmother's fan with that Go Big Electric, okay? So we're gonna lay out our blocks first and then I'm just gonna chain piece some of them, okay? Now for this one here, we just need um, three and four and we just need, so three is our big half square triangle. Okay, and it's gonna be white. And then we need quarter square triangles right here. All right, now I need um, a total of three, one, two, three, quarter square triangles that are white. So I'm just gonna cut four and then two that are, we'll make them pink, okay? <laughs> so look what I'm doing, cultures. I am just totally taking my scraps. I'm gonna lay this here. I'm finding that lengthwise grain though. And here, we'll do a smaller scrap, or not. We'll just do this one then, okay? So I would, I'm actually gonna cut this down a little bit. Ooh, Pam, Keep we talking. have a fun follow-up question to how we were talking about cleaning the dye. Right. How do you clean your dyes? Oh, that's a great question. Do you know how to clean our dyes, Emily? Sure, we have a fabulous little tool called the Dye Care Pick on our website. Yes. It honestly looks kind of like a dental pick to me. It does. <laughs> but it, it's got a really, really sharp little end where you can get right up in those blades and just, and just right. you know, get that, those threads out really easily. Yeah, 
It's great. And then I we have a lint roller brush. And look, I'm just using the scraps, folks, to make our borders. Um, we have a lint roller brush. That's going to take those strings off right away. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of good, too. You can use that as well. Okay, so here's pieces for our hourglass, and here's pieces for our other block, where we just need one, and then I just need one of our things, but I'm gonna cut two. So what I do, quilters, um, I have, um, I often take my four inch cube, it's great for scrap busting, and sometimes if I have extra like shapes that I need, have, I'm just gonna keep them in a little Ziploc bag and I just have little scraps for the four inch cube because sometimes then I can just create blocks using those little scraps, which is great. So it's a great little scrap buster. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so um, I'm gonna show you how to, oh, I do have time. I'm gonna show you how to sew this square in a square block I'm gonna lay out my blocks before I sew them. Okay. Now these are quarter square triangles. What's the difference between a quarter square triangle and a half square triangle, Emily? Well, I believe you need two of them for a half square triangle to create a full square, right. whereas a quarter square triangle needs four. Correct, correct. And it's all in our world about the lengthwise grain. Mm -hmm. So when you're cutting um, quarter square triangles, this grain is gonna be nice and tight, okay? And so you wanna make sure that the um, grain stays tight all the time. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna sew these two halves together and we're just gonna work our way through all of our pieces. And Emily is gonna tell us all about what people are their favorite flowers. Yes. Vicki says geraniums are her geraniums favorite. Geraniums are so fun. I love the name geranium. Yes, <laughs> and geraniums are great because they grow in anybody's garden. Oh, they do. They are non-discriminating. <laughs> That's the best part of geraniums. They're scrappy little flowers. <laughs> yep, yep. Jean says daffodils because it's the first real sign of spring. Um, yeah, that and locusts. I forgot about little cute locusts. Those are fun. <gasps> That's right, I know. Locusts are just super yep. cute. In my house, in my garden, um, tulips are... Um, come before my daffodils. I see. Isn't that funny? See, I've got a horrible green. Th I've, my thumb is anything but green. I, my dad and mom joke around that I'm, you know, kill everything that comes within my, yes. <laughs> within <this>. my purview. <laughs> I'm thinking about flowers here and I'm not watching what I'm sewing here. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Now we have a pretty green thumb at our house. I just, we have lots of flowers that just bloom all the time. Which is great. Okay, so now here's what we're doing. All right, so I'm pressing my seams open. You know, somebody asked for this one, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna press my seams open when I'm sewing these quarter square triangles to my half square triangle. But I'm gonna show you here in our other block. Okay. Um, that I'm gonna press my um, pieces away, my seams away. Hold on. Our machine is going in today to be serviced. It's sounding sad all of a sudden. It's ready to go. Okay, so here's my square and a square. So here's the rest of the half square triangles that need to come together. I wanna show you this because when you look at it, um, you can see these tiny little peaks of purple on the outside. That's because we have those dog ears cut off. So when I line up my pieces, I'm gonna make sure those little peaks of purple are there, and then I'm just gonna sew my quarter inch seams. Okay. Da -da -da. I love that we can make a whole block and sew the border pieces. Seriously. Okay. So now this one, I'm actually gonna press towards that half square triangle I pressed my seam to op seams open, but I'm gonna to press towards that half square triangle. So when it's in my block, mm -hmm. um, it's gonna line up with the, the other shape that it's gonna to come to. So, and then this is an hourglass block. This is really traditional. You only just ever use um, a quarter square triangle. And I'm gonna press my seams, oh, this one to the dark side. 
And I'm going to show you why in just a sec. Oh, we're being scolded by gardeners, Pam. So I guess we're, we're we mixed up crocuses and locusts. What did I say? So Locus crocuses oh, crocuses is the flower yeah. and locusts. Locusts are bad <laughs> things, right? Those are things that each <laughs> I forgot that. They okay, were like. <laughs> thank you all for fixing our gardening. <laughs> Holy it. smokes. Yes, crocuses. That's what I was like, locusts, that doesn't sound right. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, viewers. Thanks, viewers. <laughs> this is why you're awesome. here. Okay. So with my square on square and square, I'm going to press towards that outer half square triangle. Our our warehouse team is working outside the door here. <laughs> They're a little loud. Yeah. Okay. And then look, it's going to line up perfectly the top and the bottom. Now, the four inch cube is great. Remember the shapes are the same in every cube. Mm -hmm. They're just different sizes. So Emily, what other save? My 35s, should we think about getting today? Absolutely. Well, um, we do have the eight inch cube. Oh, well. there. Um, so the four and the eight work together. The four and the eight work together really, really well. Um, and that eight inch cube comes down to 162.49 today. That's great. Which is a really great value. Um, and if you, I mean, if you're interested, if you love the, the pattern sitting behind me, um, that this one is set on point. Yes. Um, and I believe it's it was- called Peppermint Twirl. Peppermint Twirl, it's just such a cute pattern. Um, and I believe the 10 inch setting triangle was used, yes. correct? That um, one's- No, that one has the 10 inch cube, but the one behind me has uh, 10 inch setting triangles. That's right, okay, so the one behind me. We'll talk me. about that. Yes. So our 10 inch setting triangles are on sale? Yes, for 98.99 today. We get those setting triangles. Mm -hmm. So I press to the dark side, so now when I put my piece together, it's just gonna nest. I'm loving this. All right, and then we'll talk about how to finish your project. So truly quilters, I sewed all those little blocks in like 30 minutes, okay? And you only need three of them, right, to make the project. So I bet you could, in a couple of hours, have this whole project done, which is phenomenal. And no Y seams. And none Y seams. People think, oh, there are Y seams. Nope. Nope. Nothing. And this one in front of us uses um, a, a shape from the f um, eight inch cube. Okay, I need to press my little guy here. Um, from the eight inch cube, it uses the rectangle, the two by four rectangle. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, hold on here. So, um, you can use that, or you can use that two and a half inch strip die. You sure can. And just rough cut it and sub cut it. Sixty-four ninety-nine. There you go. <laughs> okay, so now we made our little little blocks for the center of our quilt. Okay, look how cute those are. Follow the pattern to create the border. To finish the project, follow the pattern to create sashing and sew the blocks together. Mm -hmm. Sandwich the top between the batting and the backing. Pinner based quilt is desired. Add binding and miter corners. Don't forget to share your finished projects with us on our social media platforms. So before we talk about our next event, let's just look at this real quick. Um, so this is called Pigtail Twist. So again, it has this great um, Tangled Star block in it. And these are those great setting triangles, the 10 inch setting triangles. It has the side, or the side triangles and the corner triangles. So a really great fast weekend project this is um, a two and a half inch strip die, and this is actually a four inch strip die. It finishes to three and a half. So all of these um, setting triangles and those strip dies would be perfect today using the Save My 35. Quilters join Joy, Erica, and me on Tuesday, March 8th at 12 noon Central Time as we celebrate National Quilting Month. Um, we're gonna have some great mentors, quilting mentors on the show. Register in the link below for the chance to win. Don't forget our promo today, 35% off your order when you spend $35 or more. Use that code SAVEMY35. So did we touch on all the great things? Don't forget other 10 inch bobs that might, like the pineapple bob or the courtyard block. We yes. have other 10 inch bobs as well. Yeah, the chimney sweep, big, yep. go big crazy. Ooh, chimney quilt. sweep would be pretty with it, I That'd think. would be really okay. cool. And don't forget we have March Machine Madness. $150 off the Ready, Set, Go Ultimate Fabric Cutting System. Everything you need, just add fabric. All right, Emily, do we have a winner for today's AQ Live, our lucky registered 
viewer? We surely do. Okay. So our winner today is... Kathy L. in Sussex, Wisconsin. Congratulations, Kathy. You're going to love this guy. All right. Be sure to join us next week for AccuQuote Live as we cut and sew a block together using the Go Grandmother's Fan Die. It is the March Data Try. We just launched it yesterday, and it's only available at AccuQuote.com. Be sure to register for the chance to win a prize. And Emily, what's the price of that if they just want to get the grandmother's fan die today so they have it next week for yeah, our show? Yeah, you might as well get it with the mat for $119.99. There you go. There you go. Okay? So check it out. It's a beautiful um, bob. It's going to go together perfectly. All right. Thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful day. Thanks for sharing your favorite spring flowers as we get ready for springtime. On behalf of our entire team offsite, we have Morgan and Lauren. And here in the Dream Studio, I have Brock and Joe and Justin and Emily. I'm Ham Heller reminding you at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. We'll see you next week.